Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. You can change the appearance of bullets and numbers that you apply. Word allows you to create your own custom library of bullets and numbering. Custom bullets and numbering that you create will then appear in the drop-down menus of their respective buttons. That way you can create them once and then reuse them as often as needed. If you want to create a custom bullet, simply click the drop down button next to the bullets button in the paragraph group on the home tab of the ribbon. Then click the define new bullet command from the drop down menu in order to open the define new bullet dialog box. This dialog box allows you to define the appearance of your new bullet. At the top of the dialog box, in the bullet character section, are three buttons that allow you to choose the icon that will be used for your bullet. Symbol, picture, and font. If you want to create a bullet based on an available symbol or font character, then click the symbol button in order to open the symbol dialog box. Now this dialog box will default to displaying the content of the symbol font. However, note that you can use the font dropdown to choose another font if desired. For example, the Webdings or Wingdings fonts also have many fun and useful bullet characters that you can use. Now once you have the font selected, just click on the symbol within the font that you wish to use as the bullet icon and then click the OK button to return to the Define New Bullet dialog box. Now instead, if you wanted to use a picture for the bullet versus using a font character, then you would click the Picture button in order to open the Picture Bullet dialog box. Here you can scroll through the listing of available buttons until you find the one that you like. Then click on it to select it and click the OK button to return to the Define New Bullet dialog box. Now notice if you select a picture you cannot format it using the font button. That button is unavailable. Now if you elected to use a symbol for your bullet versus using a picture, then you can actually click the font button to open the font dialog box. And this dialog box allows you to modify the appearance of the selected font symbol. So you could change the font style or the size or the coloring that's used. And when it looks the way that you would like it to appear, which you can see in the preview at the bottom, click the OK button to return to the Define New Bullet dialog box. The final step is to then choose an alignment from the alignment drop-down for your bullet. Review the appearance of the bullet in the preview section, and then click the OK button to finish defining the new bullet. You can also create your own numbering if desired, and the process is very similar to the one used to define new bullets. Simply click the drop-down arrow next to the numbering button in the paragraph group on the home tab of the ribbon. Then select the Define New Number Format command from the drop-down menu in order to open the Define New Number Format dialog box. First, select the general style of numbering to use from the Number Style drop-down. You can then click the Font button to open the Font dialog box. As with symbol bullets, you can use the dialog box to select a font to use and set other formatting features that you want the numbering to possess. Once you've done that, you can click the OK button to return to the def Define New Number Format dialog box. Note that you can add additional characters that follow your selected numbering format using the Number Format text box. So for example, you could replace the default period with a hyphen, if desired. Then choose the alignment that you want to apply to the numbering from the Alignment drop-down. And you should see how your numbering will appear in the window in the Preview section. So when you have the numbering set as you would like it to appear, just click the OK button to finish creating your own custom numbering. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. 
With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!